Hey guys, quick review on the KUTV rock knockers for the KRX 1000. Um, before I get into the product, I wanted to talk about the customer service. I ordered these on April the 7th and I didn't get them until the 18th. They immediately sent me an email saying that they were out of stock on a few parts and it would take a little bit to get them in. So they refunded my shipping and when I received them, on, like I said, I think it was the 18th or so, they gave me a handwritten letter two koozies, a shot glass, and a backpack. Um, so obviously these guys care about their customers and as a small business, that's huge. Uh, I, I wish more companies in our industry would, would kind of stick by that. There's a lot that don't, but I won't mention any names. But to get back to these, um, they already come pre-assembled. All you have to do is remove that uh, Phillips head screw there. I recommend using an impact driver because that thing is really in there. But you remove that pull the brake line and the uh, brake cable up <clears throat> I'm sorry the parking brake cable and basically slide it on put your spacers in your bolts in you're done um, all you do is slide it all the way up to the back of the sway bar mount uh, my I've only got 150 miles my trailing arms are already chewed up as you can see there and the inside of my wheels can't you can kind of see it there was already chewed up and basically that was from all the crap being thrown from the front tires when I was in four-wheel drive um, and it just rides down the trailing arm into the wheel. Uh, but I rode this weekend. These things have completely prevented that. Um, they did great. I drug them across tons of big rocks, um, up hills with ruts, jumped it, did everything. They're still holding up. And when I went to wash it, the inside of the wheel was almost spotless aside from what I actually went through that seeped into the side of the wheel. But A plus on customer service and the product. So if you guys need some, check out uh, Rock Knockers by KUTV. Thanks.